acceptance of the existence of a formative life principle, and though we cannot understand the life of a crystal, it is nonetheless a living being, Nikola Tesla. In this video, I will cover the general types of crystals, as well as the techniques to activate, cleanse, communicate, and work with your healing crystals. What is a crystal? A crystal structure is a unique arrangement of atoms, ions, or molecules in a crystalline liquid or solid. It describes a highly ordered structure occurring due to the nature of its constituents to form symmetrical or geometric patterns. The crystal lattice can be thought of as an array of small boxes infinitely repeating as a fractal or structural pattern. In total, there are seven crystal systems, which include triclinic, monoclinic, orthohombic, tetragonal, trigonal, hexagonal, and cubic. Within the seven main crystal systems, there are 32 classes which are basically more varied or uniquely structured crystals which contain a different geometry. The structure, quality, density, and symmetry of the crystal cell will determine its optical properties as well as its refractive index. The healing power of the crystal is found within its ability to store light and information and give off a unique vibration. Every crystal is unique and like a personalized character or being has its own special memory and vibration. Now many of you know that the human body and its DNA is animated by the electromagnetic fields and the intensity or vibrational quality of those electromagnetic fields. The human body is just like a plant. It requires a special environment including exposure to light information. Light is information and the spectrum or intensity of that light will be stored and channeled through the body, animating the body. The body is a manifestation of the energy fields that surround and move through it. Disease, illness, sickness, lethargy, tiredness, and weakness is a manifestation of an electromagnetic imbalance in the environment and energy field. We cannot heal ourselves or eliminate the source of sickness through vaccines or pills. We need to eliminate the things which stagnate the natural electromagnetic flow around and within the body. The source of the blockages are often belief systems or thoughts created by the experiences in our life, our childhood, or even in other lives that we have had on earth. We can always get better. We can heal ourselves. We can transmute ourselves as long as we develop the resources within ourselves and reprogram our belief system structures. Just like a crystal, we are reprogrammable and we can always store new light and interact with higher light. Crystals and stones are very special because they are manifestations of light in the physical plane. There are so many crystals and stones that have formed on our planet with so many different unique properties. Here are some beautiful pictures of crystals naturally occurring in our earth. I will be referring a lot to the silicate crystal groups such as quartz, kyanite and clear crystal formations. The silicate minerals are rock forming minerals constituting approximately 90% of the crust of the earth. They are classified based on the structure of their silicate group which contains different ratios of silicon and oxygen. They make up the largest and most important class 
of rock-forming minerals. They are also the most beautiful class of crystals, which have the most effective optical properties. A crystal is a sacred, conscious object, a manifestation of that which can hold, store, and transmit light. Because a crystal is not a toy, nor simply a simple tool that you can mindlessly handle, it is very important to note that when working, touching, collecting, or vibrationally activating crystals, you do so in the most polite, gentle, careful, and loving way. The reason why this is, is because a crystal will collect, store, and amplifyingly emit the energy that has been in contact with it. So for example, if you have ignorant, careless, negative, angry, or ill-wished intentions towards the crystal, it will reflect and intensify that intention back towards the one which first carried that emotion or thought. This also goes for the positive, well-intentioned, careful, and higher frequency thoughts and emotions that come in contact with the crystal. The crystal is an amplifier. So always imagine and carry in your mind that the crystal is a sacred object that should be taken care of like a baby. Now, I will explain the ways in which you can cleanse and activate a crystal or stone. Before working with the crystal or stone, you should always cleanse and activate it. If you carry the crystal to an area of water, preferably clean water, and allow the water to surround the crystal or run through the crystal, the water will have a cleansing effect upon the crystal. The water, especially natural rivers, streams, or ocean water, is naturally programmed with the memory of the existence. Even more so, the water from sacred energy spots around the world have an even more powerful effect. The most important thing when handling your crystals while they are in the water, or maybe in your cupped hands, is that you keep a loving, kind, warm intention towards the crystal. This attitude will not only enhance the cleansing and activating effect of the crystal, but it will also program the water that has been subject to the positive thought waves of your own mind and heart. Another way to cleanse and activate your crystals is through allowing them to bathe in the sun. The sun is a radiating light ball that allows higher dimensional light to enter our physical world and our physical universe. And the energy of the sun can be stored inside of your crystal. The sun is a powerful gateway that not only carries electromagnetic radiation, but also the good intentions of light beings and interdimensional extraterrestrials that exist consciously in unity with those light particle waves. A very important side note. Always remember that the higher content of silica and silicon in the crystal means that there is more light memory storing potential. That is the reason why when I'm talking mostly in this video about crystals you can imagine it as being a quartz crystal because quartz crystal has a very high amount of that silica. Now ongoing with the cleansing and activating of crystals. The reason why I do not suggest that you use the moonlight to cleanse your crystals is for two main reasons. The first reason is because the moonlight is not usually strong enough to program or cleanse your crystals. You're better off using the sun. However, the second reason, and I've gotten this information both from the internet and from my communications with the Arcturian Council, is that there is technology 
and bases on the moon that is radiating frequencies which are actually not uplifting or higher vibrational. And there are some of these technologies actually have harmful effects upon our planet and that is why some of these technologies on the moon have actually been stored there by our government and the reptilian Orion collectives. But nevertheless, continuing with this cleansing aspect, one of the most powerful ways to cleanse and activate your crystals is by using your own electromagnetic field and by using your mind, heart and hands. By using the chi or life force that is present and stored within your being, you can concentrate that energy and if you practice to focus this energy, you can produce a very strong electromagnetic radiation that the crystal can pick up and then the crystal will be activated and will start resonating upon that energy which you radiated through it. You can use this method to clean it, to activate it, and to vibrationally update it with new files and new programs. You can feel free to use sage, and you can sage your crystals with natural herbs. I would very highly suggest mugwort if you're very interested in herbs and sage. The vibration of the smoke and the smell and the expanding fire element is a very pow powerful method. Understand that your mind and your mental images have a vibrational effect like an antennae or a satellite capable of transmitting vibrations. If you can focus certain images, certain memories, colors, or specific intentionalities and make a link with the crystal, you can transmit those specific vibrational thought forms, images, and informations to the crystal. And that is among the most specific and direct ways to program a crystal for a specific purpose, by using focused thought. For example, you could say, I would like this crystal, this quartz crystal, to help me to heal my lower back because I have pains in my lower back specifically these meridians and these organs so you can highlight the kidneys and you can actually in your mind's vision actually project into the crystal what part of the body you would like to maybe focus that energy into and you can be as specific as much as you envision if you have learnt advanced stages of energy work especially meditation qigong tai chi light language palm symbol work Reiki, astral programming, astral projecting, magical ritual. You may use these methods and techniques to activate and program your crystals. And it is my belief and my own personal experience that these methods I have just listed are the most powerful ways to cleanse and activate the crystals. However, not everyone is familiar with these techniques or have gone through psychic development to a level where they can focus themselves in that way and that is why I would list these methods and techniques as advanced. Another very powerful way to cleanse and program your crystal is by simply making a prayer and a loving invitation to the ascended masters and your extraterrestrial soul family to operate, protect and vibrationally update your stone or crystal. They can energetically move their consciousness through the crystal and transmit certain messages or energies to your energy field through the crystal. And when you do a prayer or a meditation where you intentionally invite the masters of light to work through a specific crystal that you would like to program, you may even see the masters of light, angels, and extraterrestrial astral technology working around and within your crystal. You might see an expanding light, a morphing light, small dots of light, or zipping electrical particles around your crystal that move around as if they have their own consciousness. This is the manifestation of the multidimensional beings which are very familiar with who you are and they have the highest intentions to help you through your journey on the planet. 
because they are made of light and higher dimensional frequencies, they have the power and potential to transmit specific energies to your body or to the crystal that you're working with, which then can help your physical body. The masters of light, which I will categorize these beings, are very playful, telepathic, humorous, and they are responsive to your own needs and wishes. They will help you as long as you have a loving and friendly vibration and they cannot impose themselves onto you or your crystal unless you give permission or make agreements and that is why you should always ask through meditation or prayer. So there you have it. Those are the many ways in which you might program and elementally cleanse your crystals.